Hello guys, welcome back. Um, today I've got a very different unboxing for you. Um, I have a tea unboxing. Um, it's by the company called Team Tea and I recently managed to bag one for like two pounds or something ridiculous. I thought I had to try it. If you're not a lover of tea, you're not gonna appreciate this video. But um, I got, as I wanted to try it, I thought I'd just do a little bit of unboxing on the channel. Um, and yeah, let's just dive into it. it might be a short video, um, but yeah. Basically, Team T, obviously I've put my address off it, is a monthly subscription box. It's, um, each month you get three teas, um, and I was quite surprised. I have had a sneak peek look in it, but I've not actually looked, looked in it. And I thought it was gonna be tea bags, but it's not. So each month you get three different teas um, for something like £12 a month, but I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong. So let's dive in. So when you open the box, you are greeted by um, the Team Tea logo and some leaflets. I'll just take that out. And excuse the box, I had an absolute nightmare trying to get into it. I went to nuts. I wasn't actually going to film this. But yeah, that's what they look like, if you can see that. So they're pretty big, to be honest. Um, I've never heard of this company. And I saw them on, um, sorry, itchy nose, Instagram. So I thought I had to try it. Um, so a quick guide to, tip to the slide tins. Tear, slide, pour. So they're loose tea, so you will need one of them basket things for it. Or uh, an infuser sort of type of teapot. I'll put an image on the screen of what I mean. Um, so what it says is, welcome to the club Lisa Marie, and that's written in handwriting, so I'm actually quite that little pissed from it. The first May tea is an ex executive first flush black tea from the mountains of Yuan, Yuan, China, the birthplace of tea. Legend claims a young boy from Falcon trapped in a snare laid by a local warlord. I'm not going to go in to the history, I might put a picture on my blog, but this, these are quite big power-ups, and I can't be bothered, <laughs> I'm not the best reader. So, it says here, brew at 100 degrees for three to four minutes. I recommend taste of light milk, but this tea is strong enough to add milk if you prefer. So, this is this first one. It's a little slidey tin, a bit like um, a lip balm, but huge. It's got the dates on it as well. That's before May 2019, and it's 10 grams. So there's a flush of tea, so caramel notes, plum, dark raisin, smooth body, heavy, sweet aroma. Okay, so it's sealed. I am going to open it. Try and do it. Okay, so it is actually loose tea. Uh, looks like very herbally. Smells really good. I'll try and show you the best I can without tipping it everywhere, but I will insert a picture as well. That smells like tea, just a plain everyday black tea. It's dried, just dehydrated, obviously. And the second one is now I'm quite into my teas, I'm quite into my herbal teas, and I'm quite into weird teas. More than coffee, actually, I would say. Um, so, yeah, the second one is, is called the Tinderette Kenya tea. And the good thing about it is it says one tablespoon, 100 degrees, three to four minutes. The other one, the Kenyan one says one teaspoon, 80 degrees, four minutes. So it does give you a precise reading. Um, so it, the second tea is a single state open leaf tea, white tea from Tinderette Tea Garden in Kenya. It's full of ripe pears and light tea flavors. Um, surprisingly delicious at breakfast, also a refreshing cold brew. So I might try that. I really love iced tea. Um, so yeah, let me just... <laughs> okay, so yeah, I don't know how much any of these are. Um, obviously they're only 10 grams, and I imagine you should be able to buy them off the website. As you can tell, I'm so excited to film this. I haven't really done much research, but the packaging is really good. The ethos is really good so far. And the last one, shall I open that one? Do you really need to see that one? It's quite difficult to show you them. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, this looks like dried downy leaves. It's 
smells good though. It does smell really fruity actually. I don't know, again, I don't know if you can see that. I'll try my best, but I don't want to tip it out. It does look like dandelion leaves though. <laughs> okay, and the last one is a good old fashioned Earl Grey. Now, I want these fancy pants. I recently tried it with lemon and it changed my life. I actually prefer it with a slice of lemon than um, just thought I'd try it because like it's quite a thing um, and I really like it, prefer it with because I like quite a strong cup of tea if I'm going to have a, like, a nice cup of tea in the morning I want it to be like Bill's tea and Earl Grey to me isn't like that so I, I do actually put a bit of like orange or lemon in it and it's really really nice, I don't have it often but yeah and it says here the last tea, finally perhaps the most famous flavour tea blend of all our Earl Grey, a smooth mellow with hints of vanilla Bergamot and orange pokey from Clayton. Uh, 100 degrees for three minutes. And you can do it with, try brewing double strength and adding steamed milk for a, long, a London fog. I wonder what a London fog is. I'll have to like, try and put a picture somewhere because I'm quite interested in that. But I will do a nice um, strong brew with it. I'll give it a go. Again, it's easy to, oh wow, that's so pretty. That smells delicious. I don't even know if you can see that. I, I'm gonna put that on top of a cake. Is that weird? Because I was in this cafe. I did shout out my Instagram called um, Stop Cafe where I live, and they have this Earl Grey lemon piece of cake, and it had actual dried bits on it. Oh my god, that smells so good. It's messy. <laughs> So yeah, it's a small little video um, and it's a team tea, so definitely check them out. I love the whole, the whole ethos, especially if you're new to tea and you want to try things. Um, I'll try and leave the code down below for the cheap tea box, because that's the only reason why I was drawn to it. But I'm glad I got it because it's, you know, it's, it's, it's really substantial. You've got 30 grams of tea there, which is brilliant. So yeah. I have a pink parcel coming up soon. I managed to get a really, really good deal on that. I think I just wasn't going to get it, but I managed to get like a deal um, because it's bank holiday. So that's unboxing soon. And I have my April favourite. <laughs> I think it's going to be April favourites, but I'm currently loving this end of last month, April time. Um, and I'm going to go out now and enjoy the sunshine and edit this and get out. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!